What is up, YouTube? This is this is two one here, and today we are going to jailbreak iOS four for the iPod Touch second generation, and this will also work for the iPhone three G. This will not work for the iPod Touch third generation, the iPhone four, and it may or may not work with the iPhone three GS, but it may be a little risky with the three GS, so I wouldn't recommend it. This is for models with non MC, and if you don't want don't know what that means I will show you in a few minutes or seconds whatever we will be using Red Snow 0.9.4 beta 5 to jailbreak this and you will also need uh, your current IPSW file and iTunes 9.2 this works with Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard or probably Leopard as well and Windows based computers probably Vista and Windows 7 and XP as well um, I have a Mac oh I have a MacBook Pro running Mac OS ten, Snow Leopard, so we're just gonna show it to you like that, but I'm it's pretty much the same with Windows based computers. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is whether or not you have an M B or M C model. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get your iPod Touch or iPhone. Alright, let's just type my password. Okay, and you're going to go to settings. general about all right and right there as you can see model says MB if yours says MC then this jailbreak will probably not work mine says MB say so it will work all right so I'm just gonna put that back down there I'll leave it I'll, I'll just turn on sleep for a second all right now once you've downloaded Red Snow 0.9.4 on your current IPSW, whether it be for the iPod Touch second generation or the iPhone 3G. I'll put the links to all those in the video description. I know some of you have been having trouble finding the Red Snow 0.9.5 link. However, my friend, who also has a YouTube account, EBN1955, um, thanks to him, he found the link for Red Snow, which does work with the uh, final iOS so thanks to him. Go check out his channel. That's once again EBN1955. Alright, so when you're on your computer, once you've downloaded Red Snow and your IPSW, you're going to launch Red Snow. Alright, as you can see, iTunes 9.2 has closed. And there you go. Now we have Red Snow. Blah, 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 uh, all that stuff up there. Alright, so now over here, you're going to want to click Browse. And there we go. And in your home folder, go to down. Well, for Mac, it just find your downloads folder. Uh, same with Windows. Wherever you put that IPSW, just open that. It'll say processing firmware. All right, now it says, is this a newer fixed model? And you're going to say no, because this is for the MC models, and we are not MC, we are MB. So just click no. All right, IPSW successfully identified. That is a good sign. All right, now it's going to download all that stuff. All right, now here we are. Now, there are some, I've heard there are some speed issues with the home screen wallpaper. So you can um, install that feature at your own risk. I am choosing to not install that because I like speed. Um, but you're only go you're also going to want to um, install Cydia, and if you want Verbose Boot, um, and enable multitasking and the battery percentage. Now, for some reason, on my iPod, I still have the battery percentage. So I don't know what that feature is all about. I mean, it's the same thing, but I don't know why they chose to include it in the jailbreak if it's already on the iOS 4. Okay, and blah, 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 all that stuff up there. That's only if you want a custom boot logo and recovery logo. And I'm satisfied with these three things checked off. And you're going to click next. Now, here we go. Please make sure your, your device is both off and plugged in to your computer. Okay, and click next only when you're off and plugged in. Alright, so I recommend backing up your iPod before you do this, just in case you mess up the transition into recovery mode or DFU mode. So, once you've done that, now what you're going to do 
is when you're plugged into your computer, not your wall, your computer, obviously, you're going to power off your iPod Touch or iPhone. My mic. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. There's me. Hello. Okay. This next part is tricky, and some of you may mess it up. So first, what you're going to do is click next. Hold the power button for one, two seconds. Now hold down the home button. Re release the power button, but continue to hold the home button. And this process usually takes less than whatever it says on there. There we go. Still working. All right, we're jailbreaking right now. There we go. Downloading jailbreak data. And that process that we just did there, we're holding the home button, power button, whatever, that is called DFU mode. If you ever want to unjailbreak your iPod without, without a trace of any jailbreak data, you're going to want to restore into DFU mode. Because DFU mode is very, very helpful with that. Now, once you're done with this, you could just click finish on a red snow while that downloads the jailbreak data. Pineapple running. If anyone knows why the uh, jailbreak sign is a pineapple with a bite out of it, could someone please tell me? Because on Ride Snow, that's the logo as well. I mean, maybe it has something to do with the fact that Apple, like Apple Inc., there's a bite out of that. But I'm just not sure. And why is it running? Leave a comment. Oh, here we go. All right. So let's check it out. And there we have it. Joe Rogan. And iOS 4 seems to run still very quickly. There's Cydia. And there's multitasking. Well, I don't have anything running in the background. But, oh, weather. Yeah. If you like this video, remember to favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and press the like button down there. Leave me a comment if you're having any trouble jailbreaking. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and that's about it. Remember, EBM1955, he gave me the link to Red Snow 0.9.5. Beta 5. You need Beta 5. Nothing else will work with the final IPSW. So that's about it. See you guys later.